So how do relationships get built according to women? So most women that I talk to, they have kind of this timeline of events that occurs in a relationship that means to her that things are kind of moving forward, that things are progressing, that she's moving into something deeper with a guy, that it's getting more serious. And it kind of looks something like you meet a guy and you're kind of like friends and there's like this chemistry or emotional connection and then you start hanging out together maybe you hook up together and then you start meeting each other's friends you start meeting each other's family you start he starts spending lots of time with you he starts talking about you to his friends he starts like hanging out having you hang out with his family members Next thing you know, there's a ring, and next thing you know, you're married, right? That's, there, that's, it's kind of like this progressive timeline that a lot of women talk to me about and say that that's kind of like what it means to kind of develop in a relationship. Well, guys have a completely different timeline. <laughs> so if you think that your timeline is his timeline, then you're, then you're definitely going to be confused here. Because for a man, there is no step progression from meeting a woman to being in a deep relationship with her where he's actually committed. It's pretty much zero to a hundred. So he knows pretty quickly what kind of a category he slots you into as far as whether he wants to just be friends with benefits or whether he wants something long term or whether he wants to get married. And then he learns a lot of information about you in the first initial dating phases. And then around the three to six month point, he knows absolutely certain what kind of a relationship that he wants to have with you. And they've actually done studies on this where they've gone out and surveyed men about when they, what period of time they are in the relationship and what thoughts they have in, in terms of what kind of a relationship they, they, that they want. And it's pretty much unanimous that by the six month mark, they know exactly what kind of a relationship that they want to have with you. And so the, the problem that a lot of women kind of run into is they think that because he's showing you to his friends or that he's showing you to his family or that he talks to his family or friends about you or that he spends a whole bunch of time with you or that he takes you on dates or that he does any of those things that that means that he's moving towards a relationship with you. It does not mean that. And I know that can be shocking. It can be absolutely shocking to a lot of wom women, but just because he takes you on dates just because he introduces you to his family, just because he hangs out and spends lots of time with you, just because he looks at you with googly eyes, none of that means that he wants or is moving towards a real relationship with you. And a lot of women end up being completely delusional about this and they'll end up wasting months, years, and sometimes even decades in relationships where it's going absolutely nowhere. And I know that can sound really, really bad and really harsh. However, that's the truth of the matter. And so I'm going to tell you here in a minute what you need to do about it so that you don't end up in a situation where you're spending... I've, there's women in our community, just to let you know. There are women, plural who are in our community who have spent between 12 and 17 years in casual relationships with men where they thought the relationship was progressing towards marriage and the guy never ever thought of her as anything more than a casual fling, a friend with benefits. 12 to 17 years. Think about that. Think about spending 12 to 17 years in a situation where you think it's moving towards marriage, but it's not. You don't want to be in that situation.